is Radiance Man. Hello, hello guys, and uh, good morning. We are back para sa ating Game 3 of our third series. So, et na naman tayo for Gladiators. Aabutin naman sila ng Game number 3. And uh, one game away from being eliminated sa ating tournament. So, masasira na ba yung streak for Gladiators? Let's see and find out. Open and pick. Brood nakuha ng Tunday Sports. And this is unusual. A uh, early Queen of Pain pick. Well, pinakita naman ng Gladiators dito yung kanilang possible mid. Pangolier or Snapfire. And waiting sa lantay dito for the uh, remaining ban sa second phase natin. Yep, pero yung opening dito for Tundra Esports is two core heroes agad-agad. But I think the same goes for uh, Game Gladiators. Pero Snapfire kasi parang pwede pa siyang maging support. Unlike Tundra, sure na core talaga yung Brood Mother and Queen of Pain. Five seconds. Oh, we just need to support ban out support, support heroes. Support Brood, no? Support. <laughs> support. Hindi ko sabi mo. Me po? Ito, mara-remove naman ng Tundra Esports and for Gaming Gladiators. Pero para naman tayong two bands remaining. A faceless Void will be removed. Ano pa ba, ba yung mga ITL hero na makuha dito? Parang wala pa naman tayong nakikita ng uh, hard counter so far. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Yeah, so faces void removed. Meepo will be uh, banned out by Tanto East for so. Kaya tanggalan naman yung mga heroes na, that counters out the brood mother. So wala na rin tayo na gasaren. Yung mga heroes na merong root. Do you still have Mars open? But it works well pa rin naman for our gaming gladiators. It's a good counter against the Bleed Mothers. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a terrible Bleed Band. It's the fifth band on gaming gladiators ang inaantay natin. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Radiant must choose. Dyer's turn to pick. Disruptor! Ten seconds remain. So disruptor for the third Five pick ng gladiators. Seconds. Yeah, so uh, disruptor it's one way to counter out the brood mother. You have the kinetic field glimpse to catch him. Also one way to catch the queen of pain. So parang okay naman yung uh, heroes for gladiators. They have big ultimates actually. You rolling thunder, Mortimer's keys, and then you static storm. There's a lot of control against the use of thunder, but again. Another ancient apparition and naman yung kunin na dito. And this time, we're gonna have a Spirit Breaker. So, AA for this game. Parang wala naman tayong solid disable, eh, no? Unlike kanina na merong faces for it. To easily connect your eyes Blast. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. So, fourth pick for Gladiators. Even though uh, merong Disruptor and like, Spirit Breaker pala naman yung Tundra. So, Kinetic Field, medyo troublesome for the Spirit Baker, but at least yung answer nila for the Rolling Thunder. Hmm. Talaga nag-stick na, nag na lang din sila sa Ancient Apparition, ano? Since nag-workout naman. Kasi, naban din kasi yung Enchantress. Parang ilan naman yung ginagamit ni Aogi. Oh. Kaya parang nag na lang din siya. nag i siya. It's either Enchantress or Visage yung ginagamit niya on the post 5, eh. Pero parang mas may impact naman yung EE. Pero yun nga lang, no? wala tayong disable talaga for Thunder Esports. Mm -hmm. Dyer's turn to battle. Dark Sia.
So Darkseer for the fourth pick ng Gladiators. Ten seconds. Vacuum into the Static Storm. So that Five was seconds. scary. If ever ma execute yun ng Gladiators. It is Radiant Span. <laughs> Yeah, so vacuum into static storm. Very uh, scary for uh, gladiators. Well, yun nga lang. Siguro yung downside lang for the dark series, hindi naman mili hero yung kasama niya on the lane. Pero still, uh, masat pa rin naman yung snapfire together with the dark series. Actually, we're not even sure. Ah, hindi, parang sure na pala. No, off lane dark series and then mid pangol here. There'll be support snapfire for gladiators. So safe and hero yung missing for both sides. So last ban on both sides. Position one, yung inahanat na magkapit ng team. And, um, ano ba? Medyo mahirap din maganap ng position one for Tundra since meron Dark Sir sa Gladiators. You need to be careful kung uh, sino ba yung uh, mga ideal makuha nila dito. Sino ba yung mga meta post one pa natin na usually nakita natin available? More fling? <laughs> more, more fling? Pwede naman. May ancient apparition nga lang. So, parang... Oh, my. Kasi kaya nga, parang wala nang hindi mo na kailangan ba yung morphling strike pag meron kayong AE. Bloodseekers. Ay, never mind. Bloodseeker was second band for gladiators. It is Radiance Band. Well, DA removed for Thunder Esports. And for Gaming Gladiators. Still looking for their last band. Parang wala na talaga yung mga heroes na okay, you know, for both sides. Hirap din kasi magkasi for Tundra, ano bang bagay na saving hero na hindi magsasuffer against the Dark Seer? What if sila na lang yung mag-morphling? No? Parang okay lang din naman. Pero sobrang naglalak talaga ng disables yung Tundra Esports kung ganun man yung mangyayari sa kanila. Do you think Lifestealer is okay for Tundra? I mean... Okay siya sa laning kaso ang bagal din kasi gumana ng hero na yun eh. Ang dami mo rin items na pwede yung bilhin. Sa kanya. <laughs> Sana pwede kang mag-regents, pwede kang mag-armlet desolator, kung ano mag-workout sa team nyo. Pero okay naman siya together with the Spirit Breaker. Andun yung combo. Yep. At least meron kang uh, free immunity or BKB, di ba? Against seconds. Glimpse. So, ideal pa rin naman yan. Five seconds remains turn to pick. Red Rider! Safe Flame Brood is that Correct. I mean, oh, safe. I want safe name, brute guys. Since uh, who was it? No, but Rider on the last pick. What is it? Off lane. Do you think? I mean, uh, a bat or spirit but rider? Breaker? I think bat rider, yeah. Ten seconds. Oh, depends. Parang di ko, parang di ko kasi di ko sinay kita ng babat rider si snaking. Five. So di ba post five naman talaga siya for Tandra. Uh huh. Okay. So. Yeah, parang uh, limited lang din talaga yung heroes nila. Eh. Yun yung naging problema ngayon ng Tandra East for, for gladiators. Ito yung man. Against bat ano, rider. Anong kukunin mong hero, you know? Ang ganda sana yung idea ng morph na pwede kang mag-morph into Spirit Breaker, di ba? Yung mga ganun. Kaso, meron... Ito yung kanina na in-expect natin na kukunin ng Gladiators. Ano? Medusa, Medusa instead, instead of, of Throw Ranger. So, sana uh, na Medusa na pala sila kanina, di ba? Oh, Kung ganun lang din sila ka-passive. Kung ganun lang sila ka-passive, hindi nila ginamit ng mga ganyan Draw Ranger. Pero Medusa, this game, wala tayong Diffusal Blade Carrier for Town Race Parts. Wait mo lang. <laughs> Karang mo mag-deepisal blade. Deepisal si Skeeter. Karang okay lang din. Kasi parang sayang yun. Pero kung titig namin yung heroes ng Gladiator, sobrang solid yung teamfight nila. Like, all five heroes, they have AOE control. Parang, Compared to Tundra Esports na puro pick-off lang talaga yung meron yung yeah, heroes nila. Kung baga, parang ayaw magpalaglag ng Gladiators. Ganun yung napipili ko sa heroes nila ngayon. <laughs> Pero at least yung wall... Wala naman yung sobrang ganda na ma-uultihan dito ng uh, Dark Seer, di ba? So... Uh, parang vacuum talaga yung maging uh, spell for the Dark Seer. Pero for Tantra Esports, since malakas naman yung heroes nila yung getting pick-offs, okay naman siya on, he I mean, uh, on enemy heroes na puro uh, nagre-rely on their ultimates. Pag may, isang, pag may isang hero na wala, is nawawala na agad ng manpower dito yung uh, gladiators. Mawalan sila ng uh, damage as well. So pag nakuha ng pick-offs ng Tantra Esports, I think magiging okay naman sila. Pero pag 5v5 situation, I think it's gonna be hard for them.
So, tignan natin for our last game ng uh, second series. Ito yung mga moments na possible mag-ingat yung magkabil lang sa ide na. Kasi nga, elimination match. Naglagan na yun. And game number three, dito yung tipong gusto nila late game na yun. Magkatala, pagalingan nila. Yeah, but it's late game timing. That's why it's a little bit bad for Tundra Esports. Plus, the heroes are okay in late game, unlike Gladiators. So, this is it. It looks like you want to get a potential first blood for the side of Gladiators. But you can't see it there. Or, hindi ko sure kung abot yung observer rewards Pero kung yung hero lang mismo, hindi naman nakita ata dun yung pangler Pero alam nilang merong tao sa na breaking smoke Just 30 seconds now Well, we don't have to be early first blood, so we can get the bounty rune till 242, but it's still there. Yeah, 242 on the bounty rune. So we don't have to get the early engagement. The seller here looks like we want to zone out the Tundra Esports. It's a bit far, Dirakio. And, uh... Nag-relate siya ng ano yun, ng word eh. So, he just had to DP out. Rest but secured for the side of Gladiator Celery, and uh, there goes the glimpse. No, ko po dali kada pang asa thirty fifty to a potential kill once again for the side of Gladiators and Dracula with the one to claim this. A good start overall, especially for the bot lane, the gladiators. So back to the bottom lane, Dragon Age will be a support to sell it, but no bashes for uh, sneaking. Mm-hmm. Can't take field. Charge. Pero yan na. Charge. Na charge. Na bash yun na. <laughs> Ayun na yung bash na yun na. Ay, hindi na pa pinapalang Disruptor, pero finally we had the bash for the Spirit Breaker. Eh? Yep. I mean, sakto rin eh. Nawala yung kinetic field, di ba? <laughs> yep. If may natalo dito, lagag na ba mga lods? Yes, lower bracket tayo. So, elimination match siya to. And this is the game number 3. So, sino matalo dito, will be eliminated para sa ating tournament. The second team na may eliminate for this tournament. Yeah, now na na yung LGD kanina. Na 2-0 sila ng Quest Esports. Di man lang nang laban yung LGD. Pero at least for these two teams, sumabot man tayo ng game number 3. Classic of Western Europe matchup.
Tingin ko ang last sana talaga ng Thunder Esports if si Saxa yung isa nila. Parang mas malayo yung mararating nila. Kasi during DPC, ang ganda naman naging performance nila with Saxa. Pero every time na nasa big tournament, nabigla na lang siya nagalaho. Kaya nga, parang feeling ko kailangan talaga na niya ng... Uh, tawag ito, i-address na lang muna yung health niya. Like, hindi niya kailangan oh, madali and nabumalik. Parang muna... Parang gusto niya rin kasi mag-qualify ng major, no? Pero mag-qualify ka nga, pero by that time na nasa major ka na, magkakaroon ka ng problema mm -hmm. sa... Help mo. Kasi yung naka-apektuhan is yung team itself. Team mismo eh. Nagpa-practice sila with Zaxa and then suddenly pagdating sa mismo main stage, iba yung teaming nila. Parang ang hirap na. Swerte na nga nila kasi yung coach nila talagang at least, diba? Player experience naman Player, previous DI champ. So kahit pa paano, nagagawang pa rin ng paraan. Pero much better pa rin talaga yung kusino talaga yung teammates nyo. Yun yung uh, mag-alaro pa rin. But that goes the far step Kuki over the Skeeter. What the... What a damage for Toffel. Grab him point blank damage. Awe Dito might be next. They still have the Iron Shell. Level 2 from Ace. And that's double kill secured para kay Toffel. Yep, so uh, for one four minutes, we already have one key gold lead for uh, gladiators. But looking at the leaning, well nine. Is it green shadow lean against the pancake? It's actually going for the dive, not the shadow strike. Multiple teams want to support blink is still available for a nine. Has to go for the blink out, but Gleams is available and now for nine. Far side Might cookie. be taken out as well. Grabe performance for the support on gladiators. Sobrang active ng ginagawa nila dito, and the queen will manage to escape. Radiant's courier has been slain in cold blood. And at the charge over to the uh, Medusa, Dracula might be in trouble. Wala naman siya so support. On its way pa lang dito yung Disruptor, pero mukhang i-let go na lang ng Thundra Esports. Nice, it still has 7 stick charges. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, 33 actually it... might be in trouble instead. Wala na siyang uh, Farfly. They have the Kinetic Field. Into the Glimpse. 33 man lalaban pa rin naman. Dracula dito with a couple of right clicks. And tamang pressure lang naman onto the Bat Rider. And for mid lane, of course, Ada pa rin naman yung uh, Shadow Strike, Scream of Pain, the Zone Out Queen, and even Charge on its way. Well, they have Tofu, but a quick burst is available for the set of Thundra taking him out. Snaking Dito will be escaping, but it won't happen. Kill secured, Glimpse, uh, a bit too early for this Raptor. So, uh, mukhang okay pa rin naman sila yung Dito. Well, in this room denied. Still a 1k goal lead for uh, Gladiators. Ay, nakagood ang boss. Pwede ba ako maghanap muna ng kape? Feel ko, hindi ko na kaya yung tatlong araw na walang kape. Solid. Ayun yung okay. pinakamalapit na nalilig. Kahit sumamaparamdam ko, magkakape ako, idol. <laughs> Nakakagutom, sabi mo? Tama ba? Na, Oo, oh, nakagutom, oh, pero kape hahanapin ko. Pwede Parang ba? gusto kasi nung mainit. Gusto kasi nung mainit na sabaw, <laughs> pero wala kaming cup noodles. <laughs> so, nakagutom. Pwede ba akong maghanap ng kape? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman natuloy ang tumayo. Ang lapit mo. Natawa din ako. Ayoko lang ha. Tiniisin ko na lang itong lamig na to. Health condition, Lods. Tama. Yes, si Sheridan may health condition. <laughs> Pag nagagutom ka pa, inaano. Wala, basta buhay tayo sa kape. Tatlong araw walang kape, hindi ko na kaya. Nanghihina ako. Oh. 7 minutes and 6-2 uh, yung score natin ngayon. Natawag din kasi. Natawag din kasi ako. Ayaw <laughs> Sorry, 
So, ano ba nangyari? 8 minutes in. Let's check the net worth and the mayaman dito in Darks here. Sobrang yaman niya. Chain top net worth and the ROE 2000 will be spotted then by Queen with a far set cookie with a rolling thunder. Is it gonna be enough? Bukong uh, transition tira sa next target or maybe trying to disengage since uh, on its way na si 33 dito and uh, si Lele dito will be backing up. They have the skin that's on a queen connecting all the multiple heroes. But not enough to finish someone off but Tofo dito is dropping low. Deny? Attempt? No! Yun lang! Hindi umabot yung deny. And may kita pa na ni Stax dito yun, on the other side. The skater is trying to go for the supports pero maong uh, hukulin na yata ito yung 33. Yep. I mean they have this. Level 3 Firefly, enough to. Yep, so, ubus to. So, so hati-hati na yung last experience. Green Squash Buckle? Wala atang makukuha si Queen. Wala, mm -hmm. na, si Queen. wala na natin siya. Oh. Wala na nakita ko orange eh. <laughs> pero kayo, na yung KXP pa rin naman siya. Oh, nine. Ay, ito pa rin pero orange in short. No, 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 no. Vacuum is available and 9 will fall. Hmm, long short. But at least now I'm in the stacks. I had a final plus the experience that was uh, for hero set up for both sides on the triangle. Radiant should look to their bottom tower. So maganda yung pinapakita pa rin naman dito ng Thunder. At least nagkaroon sila ng way to answer back yung early lead ng Gladiators. But they need more since they're dealing with Medusa. Who's actually farming well right now? And uh, malapit nila sa kanya ng Yasha, so continues pa rin naman dito si Dracio. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Yes, yeah, so spider lane on the bottom lane trying to take out this tier one tower. But Skeeter will just use the twin gates out of this bottom lane. Spider links back to the tower, trying to deal some damage. Mystic sneak, straight shot. Um, ano ba? Tama ano ba na i-deny niya na ito? Kaya napasin na ang fortification if needed. Try niya nga i-deny para makita natin kung meron gold. Eh, <laughs> uh, yun lang. May Is that 40? <laughs> Sayo naman yung 40 na yun. Now charge over to the Racho. Still have speed with the 3-8. Stone gaze? And yun lang nanigas. Pero snaking mas mabilis pa siya. Never mind. Oh god. Ash. Greater Bash, Flame Break, Far Step Cookie, all of the repositioning skill. What a static storm! Nine will be throwing the Sonic Queen, but it will not connect! <laughs> but but it's 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 naman dito yung Medusa, so uh, that's a good start. And they might be able to finish up the Snapper as well. But here goes Quinn with the Arc in the Rune. With Ace joining the fight, Snaking might be in trouble. And he'll be the casualty here for the side of Tundra. But a good pick off yeah. naman yun for Tundra. Napatay na rin Medusa, that's what they need. Kamuntigan pang hindi, naputin ang meron pa tayong Firefly din for 33. So back to even, never pa rin naman tayo for this game. Nakakuha pa rin naman tayo ng Tier 1 Tower for Tondo Esports. Ay boss, ikaw muna boss. Hanap lang ako ng totoong sabaw. Kung wala sa bawo kape na to boss, we are. Kung boss, ako bahala mo na dito. Shoutout nga pala kay Don Shellen Kang. Yan. Good morning po. Sino na sa gaming gladiators at liquid? Liquid ang nanalo doon bossing. Oy, sorry. Nagalaw ko yung mouse natin pero wala naman nangyari. Good thing. And uh smoke play for the set of gladiators. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's camp on the hunt for radiant forces. And there goes the AE blast. Not gonna be enough to turn this fight around, Queen. Available naman yung Rolling Thunder if needed. Wala nga lang tayong Sonic Wave para kay 9. So uh, that's a easy pick up for the set of Gladiators. Radiant's courier has been killed. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Dyer's middle tower 
is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is in danger. Radiant's bottom tower is in danger. Rolling Thunder committed. They have the charge over the Queen. Nine will blink onto the high ground, and uh, that should do it. Disengage them when it's a Macabre on side. They keep it and already to sit off with just in case. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. You're too kind. Mortimer kisses with the static storm, kinetic field dropping to the inside. That's gonna be enough to finish him off. Sneaking gets slowed down, but it's Catherine Blast. Let her strike over to Ace with a solid wave for the follow up. Hitting two at the same time. Quinn will be running away. They've lost Ace. So one for one day this time. They might be looking over to Tofu. Tofu Dito dropping loads with Skeeter joining the fight. We'll be able to take him out in the process. Two dead for the side of Gladiators. Might be looking for the next one. It might be Celery. He's been spotted. A Grin's back play that won't be enough to save himself. They have Nines blink to get on top of him. And that's three dead for Gladiators. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Mas malayong ba tayo na miss out? Mas boss. Boss na ako mag-timpla, boss. Nag-timpla na ako. Wala tayong cup noodles, boss eh. Wala. Pag-gutom ka, kapayahan natin mo, boss. Itang sabaw ang nakuha. Wala tayong sabaw-sabaw dito, boss. But I do found the Spirit Breaker. Another kill secured for Glad. It is actually 1k lead now for Tundra. Now they do find the Queen of Pain, and that's gonna be another pickup secured instead of Glad. A big one. Since uh, mid hero, you know who won it done. Yeah, pero it's already 60 minutes. Pero up until now, wala parin tayo na ikita nga. Parang di pa natin alam kung sino talagi yung malamang for this game. Kaya na si for game one and game number two, parang lagi merong nga team na ahead at this point. Pero for this, sobrang diget ng laban. Well, snaking has been found. Bulldoze available. But they have the uh, Thunderstrike, so there's no running away for snaking. Glimpse, Kinetic Field, and Queen joining this fight. Actually, not going charge up. Did it not work? Did it not work? Did Kinetic Field? Yep. Eh, no? Or did it miss the field? Because it's not going to work. I don't know if it's not going to work. Or it's not going to miss the Kinetic Field. Well, back on farming. We have a time blink, but that's gonna be the next item choice. But I 33. Bottom tower is 
is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is in danger. Precious a look to their middle tower. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So 18 minutes going 19, and uh, we only have one key advantage for gladiators right now. Yeah, so what? 12, 8 pa rin naman at 19 minutes Pero malapit na tayo magkaroon ng uh, Skadi for Diracho Still, huh? siya pa rin naman yung uh, leading in terms of net weird Pero di naman naging bad yung Tarly's for special authority Spirity Shawn is a bad rider for Snakey is in trouble again Who is stunned with this? Charge? Still has a radio charge nice better vacuum, vacuum. Interrupt. Pero andito na yung heroes ng Tarly's for second third is fight around Yep, AA Blast one connect, but they have the flaming lasso and another strike, and that's it. Got bursted down immediately. Thoughtful Dido was trying to escape, but they have the charge once again. To interrupt this play, Thoughtful goes down to dead for the side of Gladiators. So, Sundra, what a way for them to turn that fight. Yep. Kahit hindi to mama ice, kasi tatlong ultimate siya tayo na bit nila dun for that pangol, your lasso, Sonic Wave, and that strike. To take him out. Well, uh, worth it, man. Pero yung Medusa talaga yung maging problema na din dito later on. Very interesting din yung first item dito for a night. He went for uh, PHB. Agad-agad. Wala nang ibang item. Well, Tormentor, makukuha pa nga dito ng Tundra Esports. Roach in attempt for the Slive Gladiators. Sige natin kung makakontas pa to ng uh, Tundra. AA Blast, eto na ba yun? Well, Ice Blast connects pero... Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Roshan is secured for the side of Gladiators. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Well, the bone face. Oh, a quick one. Well, that's not Aegis, so this might not be good for the set of gladiators. They have another side controlling Dracadito. Might definitely fall. That's three heroes hitting him back with a sonic wave. Takes him out in the process, and now for Ace. Might be able to escape. Di nag uh, trigger yung greater bash, so ma uh, kapag uh, TP out pala naman. But as for salary, kinetic fill is available. We'll be able to stop. No, the continues pala yeah, naman. Man, Late na naman yung kinetic fill don para kay salary, and actually that's gonna be snaking. Should be able to take him out. Fire step cookie available, but this won't be enough to save him. The limps committed, but that's it.
There's smoke play for gaming daddy, there's 5k gold for Tanto Esports and Skater might be in trouble but they still want to start this They have to hash this uh, root mother, but yep. in the shell to take out the spiderlings 6k na yung kalamangan ng Tundra Esports, eto na pa yun Yung inaantay natin for the uh, first time na pwedeng ma-eliminate yung gladiators Ganun yung back play, 9 Popping his BKB as quickly as possible will be able to escape from this. Dyer's middle tower is Third tower on middle. middle tower is under Gladiator starting to approach the high ground. Interesting. I mean, uh, Tundra is worth sitting my advantage, but that was ages. Tofu trying to keep up over the Snake King. Didn't manage to cut the wave, but at least by the delay, nya, and he'll pop his PK before this to escape. A good way for them to stop the push. Now, once again, Gladiator is on the third tower. Still have an Aegis for a minute for the Queen. They're actually continuing to push this mid lane. Charge on its way. Flaming Lasso over to Dracula. Can they save him? The Sonic Wave, the first damage is gonna be enough. He'll pop the Mantis Tab. out of mana for the Sonic, uh, for the Stone Gaze. And uh, the Dracula will be burned out by the Bat Rider itself. So that's a big kill secured for Tunda. They might be able to keep it going while Queen will be taken out also. Down goes the Aegis. And now it's over to Tofu instead. Kinetic Field should be able to trap two heroes inside. But they have the Nether Strike to get off this. And catching out Ace in the process. Ace surge out. Can he escape? I think they have the charge for Snake King. In a couple of seconds, he'll try and TP out here and might be able to make it, but not the Snapfire or Pangolier, but sorry. So the Queen goes down. That was a triple kill. That was a triple kill for Skeeter. They even have the Aegis for the team fight. So mm -hmm. well played for Tonto Esports holding on to this high ground and the Gladiators. Maybe they did not expect this uh, Diffusal Blade for uh, Broodmother and yung Medusa. Parang ang daming control. Parang siya lang talaga i-name dito ng Tonto Esports. So they didn't have any mana for the stone gaze yun, asana yung AOE control nila for the team fight. So uh, now we have this 10k golden for Tantra Esports. So wala pa rin naman tayong rush yun, kaka wala pa lang ng Aegis. So 11k suddenly yung kalamangan ng Tantra Esports. <laughs> And uh, right now... Illusion. What will be the next plan? Gold for me. Do you think for getting a late game, uh, who has the advantage? Parang dun na nagfollow ko si Brute Mother, so I think parang gladiators pa rin eh. Like, pag nakaroon tayo na agad ng scepter for the disruptor, mm -hmm. parang isa rin yung small scary points for uh, Thunder Esports. 
Sa bagay. They're looking at salary. Wala pa naman siyang items at this point. Pero pag umabot talaga tayo ng ganun kalit, pretty sure na bibuuri naman siya dito na agad yung Scepter. Medyo minalas lang for the tier 2 items since wala ata siya nakuha ang Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone. Dito ay kailangan mag-BKB ng Medusa sa game to. Parang isa, kayo, isa kasi yun sa mga items na ayaw bilhin ng Medusa eh, no? Mm -hmm. Pero for this game, <laughs> parang kahit din yata BB, parang kahit Lincoln na lang yata. Meron ba siyang Lincoln? Wala siyang Lincoln eh. I mean, target spell naman yung meron yung uh, Thunder Esports. So I think much better yata yung Lincoln. Eternal Shroud. <laughs> Galing mo. <laughs> Pero magic damage eh. Wala turn niya. Sa mana. <laughs> Solid ka mag-isip, idol. <laughs> At least, di ba? May pang regen siya ng mana. Kada skill damage ng tundra. Radiant's <laughs> bottom tower is under attack. So, Butterfly, Skadi going for Aghanim Scepter, si Tirasha on his next site. I'm not sure if ito turn nyo ba itong Aghanim Scepter. Mm -hmm. Parang mas gusto mo kasi for Medusa is tumagal siya sa teamfights. Grabe. Ito na yung sinasabi natin, di ba? Yung kapag Game 3, walang susuko. Walang nagpapatal. Farm oh, lang. <laughs> Wala tayong pang over, sayang. Ayun lang. Matic na yun eh, no? Hindi ka kasi nag-overbossing. Sa game 2 ako naka-overbossing. Yun yung mali ko. Nag-game over ka? <laughs> Nag Yun na, dali tayo boss. Nag-game over na, nagutom pa. Nagutom na rin ako. Ang kainin ko. Ilabas na ang beef. <laughs> Sarap naman ng food trip mo, boss. Top tower is under attack. Ay, ka lang, boss. Ikaw muna bahala dyan kasi tingin ko sobrang frozen pa eh. Ah, sige, boss. Ilalabas mo muna. Alrighty then. Well, Roshan is finally up. So, second Roshan. Currently daytime, so it favors Gladiator since there's the positioning. But Skeeter spot out a queen. Has to go for the Blinga, but a charge on the back lines will connect onto the Medusa, but uh, Glimps will be swan to snaking. Well, malapit lang naman siya. Even has the bulldoze. So, uh, wala pa rin naman pumapasok inside the pit. Stone case will be used immediately by the last show after spotting out Skeeter and other goes to dip. Those so stone gates for 80 seconds. This might be the team fight for Tonka Esports. And now Queen goes in. We have the flaming last to catch the back. Simone will be used and the Sonic Wave Queen will still reverse it out. We have multiple big EPs on the heels of Tonka Esports. And uh, it's a double kill for Skeeter. Now charge on the back lines. We connect onto two heroes. Triple kill again for Skeeter and Dirache. He doesn't have the stone gates, but he still has his butterfly. Now buyback will be used by two, but Dirache doesn't have any mana. BGB will be used by Skeeter and Skeeter is getting controlled. Ultra kill for Skeeter and uh, Tofu will just watch out for this team fight. We have the Harpoon. This might be the Rampage for Skeeter. Yep. You know, Rampage will be given to Skeeter. That's five heroes down for Gladiators. That was oh, the dieback okay. for uh, Tofu. 18 k lead. Boss? Yes. Nilabas ko lang. Ah, nilabas ko lang, boss. Bet pala sa Rampage siya ko tumaya, boss. Wait lang. Final. Parang finals na to, eh. Yung mga ganitong classic matchup. So that was the refresher or para kay Skid and um, nagpay off naman as a result and they be able to claim this uh, second Roshan, Aegis and Chiefs. So big advantage right now for the side of Tundra. But still, 
Mau uwi pala naman tayo sa team fights, if ever. Okay, guys, Peter. Yes, we ages and cheese for Thunder Esports with 19k gold lead. Ang yaman ng Spirit Breaker, ayun yung one of the reasons kung bakit ang laki ng lead ng Thunder Esports. Bakit mo siya mayami? Mayami siya napapatay? Or sobrang taas na talaga ng participation yun? Kills eh, no? 17 assists. 17 is 2 kills. Sa lahat ng kills na meron yung Thunder Esports, kasala siya dun. May isa lang na hindi. Hindi kami yung last hits niya. 208. 210 Farm move! Tiyari yun! Nagka-farm ng lane! Tapos may amal pa siya dun sa post 2 Paanggol yun Sa post 3? Na Darkseer, di ba? Medusa lang yung mas mayaman sa kanya Yung Medusa lang yung mayaman sa Gladiators Yun na lang Okay na lang Diba actually Yung para double damage Halos hindi naman lalayo yung net worth nung ano yun Di ba yung Darkseer compared to the Bad Fighter Or Queen of Pain. Mas mayama na nga siya sa Queen of Pain. Yung Spirit Pain. Dahil sa Shard of Grade yan. Nakakuya taas siya na ng Shard of Grade sa Tormentor. Kaya ganyan. Nine. Itabi mo. Ako na ang magbimid. Yeah, interesting game so far. And parang still far from over. They just need one more fight. So that it will be caught. Yeah, there's nowhere to run, but they have the Rolling Thunder to provide some space for Sully. It's not gonna be enough. Now, there goes the charge. Interrupting the Rolling Thunder with a flaming blast of the Holy Grail. He gave back the connect, and that's gonna be Quinn in trouble. He'll be taken out. Yes, he will be. Too dead for the set of gladiators. That is huge. The end call next stick for Skeeter. So, 22k gold lead. Meron naman tayong Vitax or Queen. Hindi pa rin naman natin nakikita ang umakit ng high ground dito yung Tantra Esports. So, ano na ba yung mga next item na in-expect at dito? Aghanim Scepter, sobrang labo ba for this Tantra? Ah, kasi yung Philosopher's Stone. Siguro, Ags nung Pangolier, malaking bagay, if ever makukuha niya pa. Ano next series natin? Uh, ano nga ba? Bossing. Aster EG, boss. Aster EG, yan. Next series ba natin yan, boss? Oh? <laughs> Nagulat niya ako may next series. Ay, next series pa pala? Kala ko Grand Finals na ito eh. Imagine, lower bracket round 1 pa lang ito. Round 1 ito, di ba? Yes. Kaya round 1. Pero parang nasa Grand Finals ka na agad between these two teams. Grabe. Actually, ito rin yung one of the consistent team na tumatalo sa Gladiators pagdating sa Western Europe region, di ba? Yung Tondra, like yung records nila. It's either Tondra or GG lang yung nalala. Yung liquid parang sakto lang eh. Talagang andun yung chance for Tondra. Talagang sila yung team na tumatalo sa Gladiators pagdating sa Regionals. May playoffs mode lang talaga yung Gladiators. <laughs> Charge to clear out the wave and uh, swash battle. Flaming Nasa, a good way to start this. Looking towards to uh, win. They have the AA death, they have the punish to burst him down. That's how a buyback is needed. So, Watcher Magus will be there. They have, they have the big three for Thursday. So, that should be enough for him to escape from this. Dirakidita with a stone gaze. Finally comes to an end. And now the Harpoon. Buyback for the Pangolier. Skeeter will be needed to back off. And now they have the Manta style for Dirakio. It slows over to nine. That's how the Arcane Ruin will be able to blink out. 25k lead on Tundra. Yep, and meron pa rin naman tayo Arcane Rune, Octarine for 9. Yun nga, wala yata siya nung ano, Veganing Charm. Pero ang ganda na ito, once na makakuha siya ng Spell Prism, you can just spam out your Shadow Strike.
Grabe yung ginagawa dito ng uh, Tundra. With this position 1 Broodmother, talagang uh, effective yung pinapakita ng Tundra Esports. But uh, ando pa rin naman yung main goal, which is to get the third tower. Hindi pa rin tayo nakakabasag dito, kahit 25k lead na for Tundra. Quinn starting the fight with the Rolling Thunder. They do found the Yage, the Apparition of the Yage. Going back late. Flaming Lava should be able to stop this in a couple of rushes from Skidoo will be able to take out Queen. He's out for 90. But Jinkus with the Ancient Apparition down without any buyback. The fact that Price of Kugi will be able to keep him alive. But then, I mean, does have the Stone Gaze. We'll be using it right now. The Sonic Gaze will be able to take out the Disruptor. The Disruptor was back immediately for Toffu. Force Trap. Is it going to be enough? Snaking will probably speak to you. They do drop the Static Storm over the Queen of Pain with a Vacuum on the 3. A beautiful one, but 2 has their BEB. They've lost 9. But how about the rest? There goes Turtle 3, will be taken up by Diracchio, and same goes with the Broodmother, Diracchio. That's 4 heroes down for a Thunder Esports without buyback. That but was huge. But 2 buybacks needed for Gladiators. But it's not the chance that the Thunder Esports is dying back there, si Queen. But it's still a bit of a bounce here for the Gladiators. But taking out these 4 heroes, so we still have time to get uh, any tier 3 tower for Tundra. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So grabe, yun ako wala din akin. Suddenly, same network na sila dito ng Broodmother. And uh, eto na, it's YOLO time. Naka queued up na yung DR. Now, is this the right call for Medusa? Do you think kailangan niya na mag-DR for this game? Well, uh, I think so for some damage na rin. Well, parang buo na rin yung love niya. Meron siyang relic. One of the best thing about DR is, or one of the uh, one, uh, one of the thing that you need after getting DR is, mahapag farm ka ulit ng another DR to make sure na pag drop, de ba? Pag na drop, may isa ka pa. So at least win one team fight, de ba? Manalo ka lang sa team fight with your DR. I think magkakaroon ka ng enough gold for another one. Look at this. Yeah, but it's going for BKB on his next item. Para at least de ba? To magat sa team fight with the divine rapier. And ang scary nito for Tondra Esports pag yung GG pa yun na huwa no Roshan. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. At least meron pa namang uh, slot yung Broodmother for DR if ever na makuha nila yung DR dito ni Tirakyo. Yep, so uh, Roshan yung inihintay natin dito for both sides. Third Roshan na to, no? Uh -huh. Third Roshan, so Agony's Blessing yung pwede nila makuha. Parang Agony's Blessing na kasi sure daytime na to. So, uh, 19k advantage pa rin naman for Tundra. Timeless Relic para sa Queen of Pain. So, extra damage. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ito na naman tayo. So, uh, game 3 moments. Walang susuho. BKB. Binili na ba? Nung may dosa, I think binili niya na yung BKB. So, that's huge for the next team fight. BKB muna before Divine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, BKB muna. Matas pa rin naman yung damage niya. Like, nakita natin kanina, di ba? Talagang, yeah. uh, with Daedalus up, doable naman. As long as maka-free hit yung meta dito. Especially kapag na-stone gaze form ka. Ando pa rin naman yung bonus damage, di ba? If I'm correct. Yeah, so physical 60% na laking bagay na.
So a 5 man smoke play for Gladiator. Snaking, charge on to mid lane. But it's an Octarine core, so. Mabilisa naman yung kodo ng charge. Although wala pa siyang Aghanim's Blessing. Or Aghanim's Scepter. And uh, might be a wraparound play for the side of Gladiators. It's DR time for Medu. Now, Yolo play to. Wala siyang buyback if he will die here. Yeah, pero BEB man, the style butterfly. Para kayo ni lahat ng defensive item na kailangan ni Dirashi to survive. Yep. Lincoln. Tatlong Lincoln. Sino nakabuff kay Dirashi? That's insane. <laughs> and he'll pop the BKB. IOE 1000 does have the gold setter, but look how quickly they'll kill Skitter with his DR pick from Dirashi. And over to 33, he but needs to no run. Physical. Buyback immediately for the Broodmother. Not sure if that was the right call, but 30 Dito will be spotted in. No, he'll escape in time. But this will be Roshan. <laughs> Tatlong Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do for Tundra's worst lot of spell niya targets? <laughs> Dracula. Yeah, but I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that Lincoln is the one who 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 is Maga. <laughs> I just did Lincoln. So. Cel celebrity. <laughs> Buy Lincoln for him, bro. <laughs> just give it to Lincoln's. I'll kill them. treasures. <laughs> <laughs> so Aegis belongs to gladiators. Can you give yung Aghanim's blessing? Okay. It was given to the Pangolier. So no need to go out. Uh, it's a disruptor. 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 It's a Kung hindi sa disruptor sa medu, pero kasi ito kasi yung... parang ayun yung gusto niya bilhin kanina eh. Kaso parang kompleto naman yung medusa. No need for him. Kasi yeah, andyan naman yung yami. Kaya, naman niya eh. Wala naman na siyang isa, iba rin bibulin. So, I think yung gold na makafarm niya na dito is pwede na lang ipambili ng Aghanim's Blessing if ever. But now, they might be looking to approach the high ground. Can they do it? Well, they do found the Spirit Baker, but the glimpse was used. Weird. Yes, so um, GG is the first one to get high here. They managed to destroy this uh, melee rack. So in the middle lane, they still have the Aegis for 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Yep. Melee rack secured. Aghanim's Scepter available na para sa Spirit Baker. So at least din yun na... I mean, uh, pwede na nyo i-charge lang talaga dito yung uh, Pangolier. Kaya may Lincoln's. Sobrang kapal yung Lincoln's buff. Well, Spirit Baker dito. Charge on the back line. Dirac dito gonna pop his BKB. But look at the damage. They have the stone gaze, Snaking Dito still trying to run, might be able to escape, no, not gonna happen, he's down. They have a buyback for the Spirit Baker if needed, surge out to protect the uh, Diracchio. He's dropping low in terms of mana pool, gonna throw this Mystic Snake, and uh, medyo mataas yung uh, mana given, pero grabe. Yung uh, Shadow Strike, sobrang annoying din. Yep, and uh, naka, ano rin kasi siya, naka lens octa rin siya. Mm -hmm. Timeless the relic, wala pa rin siya ng spell free seem, sayang. Or baka pinayoritize siya din yung Adami. So ito na, speaking of, di ba, yung Aghanim's Brassing, mukhang ipapurchase na lang dito ng Medusa. But at least may mapupuntaan yung network niya. Tormentor is available, but I'm not sure kung meron ba tayong ideal na hero na pwedeng kumuha ng Tormentor. Parang wala naman na. Might be Medu. Siya na lang yung parang uh, okay, kaso masyado malabo for the Tormentor. Top network siya. Yeah, another Shadow Strike, Lincoln's, tatlong Lincoln's yun. And now over to the Queen of Pain. 
He's got to have leave. HP already. He's not externally unit. So, like... Yeah, he's BEB to uh, dodge out the glimpse. So no BEB for 9. Biggie is down for 30 seconds. Tangin na. Pag sana yun eh, yung uh, disruptor. Kasi na forced up lang agad yung Queen of Pain. So, dito na traps inside the Static Storm. Diraka dito still wanna keep on going. And uh, third tower secured. They need to be careful. The backing won't connect. They have the AA Blast for the Vision. It will connect over to the backline. Four heroes. Dinamahan. Make it five. That's huge. Nanginig that. So, uh, ilan yung advantage nila from 22, mga ganun, oh, diba? 22. 22 yung pinaka naaalala kong advantage nito. Kasi parang pinoint out mo yung 22 kay ganine. <laughs> so, suddenly, 2K na lang. Down to 2K no? Pa and parang at this point, ang hirap na lumaban. Tatlong Lee Incan Spear, yung kalaban mo against Medusa, even has the Divine Rapier. And wala naman kayo ganun damage for Thunder Esports. Parang unti-unti na sila nag-fall off in this late game. <laughs> ang hirap, I mean... Isa parang kailangan ng Tundra is mapatay agad si Diracchio, which is kinda impossible dahil sa 3 Lincolns, <laughs> the Gladiators. So meron pa ba silang ibang option if ever? I mean, kaya ba nilang i-kite down si Diracchio dito to prevent yung uh, damage from coming off? Parang ang hirap din eh. And now, for the Pangolier, like he scale up na rin siya. Has the overwhelming blink. Talagang ayaw pang pumitaw ng gladiators. Hindi pwedeng ma-eliminate sa tournament, no? Pero mo yung ganong advantage yeah, ng Tundra, parang isip natin, Tundra eh, na yung no? game eh. Parang isang team fight lang yung naubos sila sa bottom lane, yung nag-dive back si Queen. Hmm? Parang dun pala nagtuloy-tuloy na bigla yung ano, yung GG. Parang kailan, no chance for Tundra na makakambak sila. Kung kailan dive back yung pangol here, no? Tsaka sila no? nag-dive ng ganun eh, no? <laughs> Pero parang gets mo naman yung dive. Ang oh, naging problem yeah, maksin yeah. is merong buyback yung heroes ng GG. Dun sila nahuli sa mga buyback. Inignore kasi nila yung Medusa, which is free hit on time na yun. And ayun yung time din na meron na siyang Daedalus. So, they didn't expect yung damage coming off from uh, Diracchio. Now, the Refresher Orb will be the next item choice. Ano na kuha ng Medu? Okay, chill din pala. Snaking dito has been caught. It does have the BKB. Hindi na naman umawat yung Static Storm. Or yung Kinetic Field, rather. Medyo humihirap bigla yung game for Tundra. And uh, ano pa ba yung aasa natin for Tundra Esports para sa kanilang uh, scaling? Meron pa ba? Parang wala na yun, no? Parang eto na yung limit ng heroes nila on this late team. Kasi wala silang ibang like right-click damage. For Brood. Ito na yun eh. Kapag gusto niya natapos na agad yung game, kaya nag-refresh your orb siya. Kasi hindi pa rin nag-workout. Na-drag out pa rin ng gladiators and uh, at this point. Possible ba tayo magkaroon ng teamfight? 52 minutes in and it's 7k lead for Tundra. Tamang uh, split lang naman para kay Snaking.
Smoke play for Tundra. Tiga natin. Kung um, magkakaroon ba tayo ng teamfights dito. Roshan, a minute and 40 seconds pa bago mag-spawn. Gem has been purchased by the Disruptor. They're sitting on the high ground, sending out the illusions first. Should be able to push out the wave. Kasi hindi naka-on yung split shot. Yeah, I'm gonna tap on Lincoln naman. Yung nakapatong kay Diracho. Tap on Lincoln, sabi may Iron Shell. May health pa ba tong, ano? Iron Shell? Ay. Or tin. Ay, hindi din niya kinuha. Sa talent talang ata yung sa pagkakaroon. Oh, nasa talent pero. Oh, para sa Kuki, Diracho dito will try to pick off the Queen of Pain. Nine will be able to blink away back to safety, but they've lost Skeeter. Same goes with 33. So that's two big cores down for the Seraph Tundra. Yep, ganun lang habilis na wala agad yung 2 years on Tondo Esports and Roshan will be up in 50 seconds so parang patay pa naman yung Tondo Esports so Aegis will be uh, taken by your gladiators again and this time it will be night time so refresher shard which is I think perfect for them meron naman na tayo agad yung scepter on the uh, disruptor so parang kahit kanina for GG sulit na sulit yung refresher shard Yep Sneaking again just doing this uh, split push over to the mid lane para lang uh, ma-force yung reaction that's gonna be a dark seer defending. Meron naman siyang BOT. Although level one lang naman yung BOT niya, so kailan niya parehong nang creep weep. Tati tipihan, tati. And the snakey dito. I mean, look at this. Who does expect na spirit breaker magi split? Cha na lang yung buong nagtatrabaho dito for Tandre Sweet. Ayo isu ko ng snakey ng laban. Palum palu paren. Speaking of snakey, now this time. Uh, all right. Wala pa namang biggie being spirit breaker na. So, kung sakaling nahuli nila. Pwede nila makapatay. Roshan is up, and there we have it. Refresher shard, Aegis, and Cheese. Makukuha na natin ng gladiators. Maybe Ace? Maybe Celery na lang. Or Celery. Ace ka? Ayun lang naman eh. Ace or Celery lang. Double vacuum. <laughs> Double heck. So, oh, punong punong na rin sila eh. Repetio shard. Oh, eh, wala sa sinabi natin. It will be on to queen. Double A yun this. I mean, not bad. Since uh, magiging play siguro nila dito is kapag nag-approach ng high ground, diba? Mag-roll lang thunder lang muna si queen. But actually, uh, queen, ito na nga. Speaking of rolling thunder, <laughs> will be using it instantly. Level 24 pa lang siya. So, wala pa naman yung talent niya for the Rolling Thunder cooldown. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Wisdom Rune. Makukuha naman ni 9. 11. 26. Possible. I mean, sa face ng game na nangyayari ngayon, <laughs> hindi malabo eh, no? Parang ang ingat kasi talaga nila eh. Tier 5 yeah, items. Pero parang, Gladiators, parang sobrang ahead na talaga nila eh. Wala na tayo nakita na panal dito yung Thunder Esports. Simula na nagka-item na talaga si Diracchio dito. Even though si Diracchio lang yung may item kanina, hirap na hirap yung Thunder Esports. Queen. Swatch Parkle. Wala naman siya basher, I think. Yeah, wala naman siya basher, so... Hindi naman niya may interrupt din yung ating Spirit Baker And uh, there goes Diracchio on the high ground once again Grabe yung damage dito And this might be set of Rack secured By Gladiators So might be looking for the last one Meron pa tayong... Was that tier 2? Top tower? Am I yeah, correct? meron pa tier 2 okay. Yeah, meron pa tier 2 top tower So... Hindi pa rin naman sila makakuha na Mega Snake is still uh, trying to push out this top thing Trying to take this first set of Rack Actually, low HP na yung tier 2 so, pwede lang pwede i-backdoor. <laughs> Mabilisan lang. So, yun nga lang. Meron ba silang creep na mapunta? Wala pa namang backdoor protection. So, pwede pa rin nila i-try. Still out the link is clear buff on Diracho. Yep, range rack secured. Para sa side ng Tundra Esports. And Snaffer will be the first one to react. Actually, pinakita na yung Snaffer dito. So, they might be able to turn, I mean, to force this fight. 30 yeah, seconds pa para sa TP ng Snapper. Ang daming link kayo niyan, boss. Hindi pwedeng target. Oh, may itagang bossing. Talaga. Charge sneaking onto the uh, up lane. Dyer are scanning for enemies. 
58 minutes and uh, one set of racks na lang para makuha na ng gladiator si Mega Crips dito down to one kinilang kalamangan for Tundra and snaking again with a split push should be able to get a set of racks on top grabe yung ginagawa ng snaking dito ah palong palo pero walang pake yung gladiators like they want this right now they're going for the third tower fortification still available for Tundra if needed and third tower goes down secured pop the manta style Multiple Lincolns with a lot of sword on top of this. But the flaming blast over the 33 will be able to start the fight with them. The Akron's blessing upgrade! 33, that was a beautiful one, but they don't have enough follow up damage. And now for sneaking, down he goes. A big battle for the Spirit Breaker over to the back line. They managed to take out the Brute Mother without the Medusa. Ow. That's huge! 90 though on the back line with the BKB. Blinks out way back to see it instantly, but now the Babak Legendary for the snap part. Still has his ultimate. Sneaking popping up his BKB. Brute Mother will be TPing on the front. He's been spotted. Skater needs to be careful. Look at the damage. The critical. He'll pop the refresher for another BKB use. Skater needs to be careful. Another critical damage coming out from Dirakio. A charge on its way. But the Lotus Orb will be able to protect him. Dirakio still has an Aegis with the Flaming Nasa controlling this uh, Dark Seer. Has the Aeon Dissonically will be committed. Dark Seer Dito dropping low ease. Can he survive? I don't think so. Bet definitely will bought back as well. Dirty Dito will be falling on the, hand of to on the side of Tundra. Will do use his buyback also, and that's Mega Clip secured for Gladiators. Now they want to keep on fighting up against a Medusa with an Aegis. Skeeter dropping, he needs to be careful. He might be able to take out the Medusa for the first life, but Skeeter is dropping low after this Medusa one? spawn. I think betting Mama is Skeeter Dito with the Manta style pop. Yeah, the They've lost two right now for the Gladiators, but look at the damage. No! Spirit Mother goes down. Snaking is dropped inside the kinetic field with the Stone Geese form over to the Medusa. Snaking. Mystic Snake, the swashbuckle from Quinn snaps him out. Two down without any buyback for the side of Tundra. AA Blast won't connect at all when they do trap 33 inside the kinetic field and Static Storm. That's three dead, no buyback for the side of Tundra. Oh god, ito na. Derakio going for the tier 4 towers. They want to end this right now. Meta pa time buyback for the Medusa if needed. Sadly Dito getting killed by 9. Can he even do it? Maybe he can. And then yung uh, Shadow Strike, Ags upgrade. Glimpse back play into the side of Vice. That's gonna be it for the Queen of Pain. Buybacks immediately. They want to hold this one out. And now Aoi dragging out the Creep Wave. But it's not tier 4 towers. Dito. Only one left. And now Vasek is going to together with Queen. 4 versus, versus 2 situation. And going for the throne. AA Blast will be thrown. Wall connects on the 2 Ace. Game should be over. And that's and it. Glad Theater's grabbing comeback in for Glad Theater's. <laughs> Sila pa rin talaga yung magbawagi for this Domer Bracket pero sobrang uh, ganda pa rin naman naging performance ng Thunder Esports all throughout their games. Parang sobrang ganda na sana for Thunder Esports. Akala ko sila talaga yung mananalo after you're taking out Queen on the bottom lane pero uh -huh. Diracchio carried his team so hard. Parang all-in Medusa yung nangyari for Gladiators at multiple Link and Spear. Parang hindi na talaga kaya ng Thunder Esports na hulihin yung Medusa no matter what they do. Because of this Link and Spear buff and wala naman sila pantanggal talaga ng Link and wala silang direct spell na pantanggal. And uh, yun lang talaga, pag na-drag out talaga ng Gladiators yung game, parang nasa na yung control? They have Medusa and yung heroes ng Tantra Esports, hindi sila okay lahat in terms of late game. Pero grabe yung game, parang grand finals talaga yung uh, Gladiators versus Tantra Esports. I think different uh, result to si Saksa sana yung isa ng Tantra Esports. Yeah, Tingin ko mas may chance sila eh. Feel ko kakaya yun. Tapos kinaya naman nila nandito si AUI. Mm -hmm. So parang kung andito si Saksa, tingin ko sila pa yung mananalo ng series eh. Meaning so sayang for Tantra. Talaga, no? I mean... Siguro... Yung game 1 talaga yun, no? Yung game, yung game 1, tingin ko, kung nanayo yung tano dun, tingin ko matutuzirin na yung Gladiators. Yeah, nakakatawot pa niyan, di ba? Since malapit na rin yung TI. Uh, okay, mayroon pa naman 2 months. So, I think for Saksa, kailangan niya mag-focus muna sa health niya muna, di ba? To make sure na sa TI, malaro naman niya buo yung uh, The International. Nasasayangan talaga tayo for Tundra Esports. Sometimes na ang ganda ng performance nila, then suddenly... Nahihirapin sila for the hero pool. Tundra Esports is one of the known team na parang medyo flexible, di ba? In uh, uh, using heroes. Pero suddenly, naging ganito lang yung hero pool nila. Especially for Aoi. Hindi naman siya yung active player. Talagang, we do get oh. it. Siya yung coach. Pero coach, maganda eh, no, pa rin yung naging performance nila, di ba? For uh, Tundra Esports. Gaming Gladiators, ayaw pa talaga nila ma-eliminate. And mag-proceed pa rin naman sila for the next round at lower bracket. We'll be Ingalang, facing quest. Quest. Western Europe Another showdown Western again. Europe na naman. Oh, parang no. ito rin yun sa mga team na kaya yung GG, eh, no? <laughs> Even though si Amar yung last nila, di ba? Parang kinaya naman nila. And what more ngayon na si Malik yung offline nila, which is better compared to Amar. Nakita rin naman natin yung run ng Quest Esports to this tournament, di ba? Talagang decent, eh. 
maganda yung performance mm. nila. Pero parang matagal pa to. Yung, uh, matagal pa ba siya? I think, July 28. Yeah. Oh, matagal. Bukas pa. Bu- wala, wala pa to. Bukas, wala. Mauna, muna y- mauna muna yung upper bracket. So, may one day break for gladiators and quests. Pero that's it para sa ating second series. Pero para matayin third series after this. So, magbabalik tayo after the short break. Thanks so much for watching and be right back tayo.